Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Sorry, I'm just in a little bit of a weird mood right now. <laughs> and my phone is destroyed. My home button's officially gone. I just got my screen fixed and now it's all smashed again. Today I'm going to be doing a QA. and a Yeah, there's not much else to it. That's kind of all there is, so let's just get started. I asked you guys on Snapchat to ask me some questions. I did that on Snapchat because that's where I have the most friends and that's the only place people actually respond to me when I ask you guys something. I wasn't going to open them until I filmed this, but I posted that on my story like three days ago, so I got too curious and in case someone was actually trying to talk to me about something, I went and opened all of them. By the way, my phone case is from Kimba Official on Instagram. I love her cases. That's all I'm going to say. First question comes from someone called Kayla. I'm not going to give out Snapchat names because that could go wrong. But someone named Kayla says, what's the best thing about living in Australia? And I actually had to think about this when I opened it up because I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But what I want to say is the food because I love meat pies. I love caramel koalas. I love Tim Tams. I hate Vegemite. <laughs> but I just love so many good foods here. And the fact that I feel like Australia is a very safe country compared to a lot of others. I'm very thankful to be living in a safe country and yeah. Someone named Ameli, um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. She said, what are your job plans for the future? And also do you plan on living where you live forever or moving cities? My job plans for the future. Well, I don't want to be working at KFC for the rest of my life. If you want a really detailed explanation, here it goes. I'm going to work at KFC until I finish doing my traineeship, which gives me SACE credit so that I can get my SACE certificate and complete school. Then I'm going to leave that job and hopefully get a job at Woolworths or Coles or some sort of grocery shop. And then I want to do a TAFE course in early childhood development and become a childcare worker. That's kind of all I have in mind if the YouTube stuff doesn't work out. I did really want to have my own business, like I've always wanted to run my own business but I don't know what to make and it's not really, like I wouldn't be making it because I'm passionate about something. Obviously I'm thinking of things that I can make. I don't feel like that's very appropriate to be doing it just for the sake of having my own business. Like if there was something I was passionate about and I made them and chose to sell them, you know what I'm saying? She also asked, when am I able to get my P's? So my license where I can drive without having a supervised driver. Uh, uh. <sighs> I can go to get them in January of 2019, but I have to have all of my hours, and so far I've got five. But if I had them, I could get my peas in January. My back is sore. Abby says, what do you think three of your biggest struggles as a mother would be? Okay, well, everything. No, I don't know, because lots of things are hard, and I want to say that having no sleep is my biggest one, because... Having no sleep has led me into a very big pit of depression and yeah, I wake up every day like so overwhelmed and depressed at the day and I go to bed with the same kind of mindset. Don't want to get into that but no sleep is definitely my biggest problem because it's made me so upset all the time. Not having any time to myself is also a big one, like everything has changed, I can't even go for shit by myself, honestly, like that's that's kind of hard. I can't enjoy anything in peace. I can't do anything by myself and that is a big issue. And I'm not really sure for the last one so I want to say the judgment, not from being a young mum but like from all parents. When I was in high school there was like all this drama between you know friendship groups and stealing people's boyfriends and all that kind of crap. But then when you're a mum you have all this other nonsense about how you parent your kid and how you do this with your children and there's just so many other things to be judged on that I didn't know about until I became a parent. Yeah, that sucks. Makisha says, what are your goals in life? I really just want to be a good mum for Ava and I want to be happy. I really want to get out of this state of being overwhelmed all the time. I want to fix myself, get my head right because I'm not being the best mum that I could be. I'm sorry for them. 
and not being the best mum that I could be because I'm so depressed and that's the only word I can really think of to use but I'm so overwhelmed all the time just depressed so I really want to get out of that which I know I will I won't I won't be stuck like this forever like I know it won't be like this forever I also want to have a stable income but be doing something I enjoy whether it be YouTube if I eventually find something that I want to sell like if I find something that I can make a business out of that I actually enjoy doing I just want to make a living doing something I really enjoy. Sophie has a few questions. She said, how did your friends react when you said you were pregnant? I don't really remember. I didn't tell anyone for a long time. I mean, I had friends, but at the very end of 2016, when I found out I was pregnant, I had a big falling out with my best friends. I lost a lot of friends in 2016, honestly. So I didn't have very many people to tell. And the only person that I did tell, who was my closest friend, um, she was worried for me, I guess, but she was also kind of happy because I was sort of happy about it. Like, I didn't make it into a big situation where I was like, I'm so sad, I'm so scared, like, I don't want this, like, this isn't what I want to do. I made it into, a, like, I don't know. I tried to see the positives about it. She was happy for me that I was happy. She was worried because she wasn't sure what I was going to do. And Anyway, what would your dream career be? Obviously, doing YouTube would be something I really want to do. YouTube would be my dream career but I know it's not really reliable because a lot of people get their AdSense cut and stuff therefore they're not making any money and a lot of people lose views if they do stupid things so I do kind of need something as a backup even if this did work out but totally my dream career would be to do YouTube if not I'd rather have my own business or be a writer because I used to love writing and if I could get back into it then I'd like that do you want Ava to grow up in the town you're currently living in? Well, I've never thought about living anywhere else because it's kind of scary to move somewhere and not know anyone. I guess it's kind of being scared of change, like moving somewhere else where I don't know anyone, I don't know the facilities available, services and everything like that, I don't know my way around. I just don't want to go through all of that. I'd rather her be here where I know everyone, I know everything, like my family's here, most of her family is here. And I just know everything here, so why why would I move somewhere else where I don't and then like that could put us both at risk and both in danger. I don't know. I have to see what the future holds. But at this point in time, I'm planning to stay here for a very long time. They are all the questions that I had, but I'm gonna throw a few of my own in there. First one being, are you planning any more children? At this point in time, no, definitely not. I do not want any more children whatsoever right now. Do you want any more kids in the future? Maybe. I still haven't decided. It's been hard enough with just one baby and like I'm already struggling so much just with Ava that I don't know if I would cope having a second one. Maybe when I mature a bit and Ava's grown up she might become easier. Like she's a good baby and she's still really difficult to deal with. How old am I? I'm 17. My date of birth is the 14th of February 2001. I've got a lot of comments lately telling me I look like I'm 14 years old. <laughs> I have been told a lot actually that I look really young. They're all the questions I'm going to be answering today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.